Welcome to Marina Sailing's Vessel Orientation video. My name is Butch and I'm here to tell you a little bit about our vessels and where things are located and how things operate. Today we're going to go over the Catalina 28 called the Katana. Follow me and I'll show you around. Hi and welcome aboard the Catalina 28, the Katana. I'm going to show you around a little bit on the boat here, show you where things are located and how things operate. In the V-berth here, we have our cockpit cushions. There are six of them that will go out in the cockpit for your comfort to seating. And behind this bulkhead right here, we have one of the two fire extinguishers that are on board. We also have the hatch cover here that you can open up on warm days. On the port side and on the inside of the vessel, we have our throw cushion our flares which has handheld as well as pistol type uh, flare gun, our air horn, our flashlight, a small tool kit, our emergency bilge pump handle which is located in the cockpit, bung plugs which go into our through hull fittings, and our binoculars. Over by our electrical panel we have our VHF radio with our microphone clipped to the side and our electrical panel. Our electrical panel consists of our battery switch, which is off both one and two, our DC panel, which is on the right side with its electrical switches. They're all marked so they're self-explanatory to where they go to. And on the far left side is our AC panel. The top switch is our AC main breaker switch and the ones below operate our battery charger, water heater, and our outlets. It's very important that we leave our water heater turned off when we leave the boat. Down below, just below the electrical panel, we have our winch handles and our navigation charts with the navigation equipment of parallels and dividers. The chart table is the top to the ice box. It is not self-refrigerated, so you must have ice to keep things cold. Under the port side sofa, we have our holding tank for our head, our batteries, and our macerator pump to pump our holding tank. The valve for the macerator pump is located right behind the battery boxes and must be pulled directly up. And then the switch on our electrical panel that says macerator pump must be turned on to macerate everything that's in the holding tank. To use this, you must be a minimum of three miles offshore, otherwise you can use a pump-out facility located in all of our harbors. On the port side, we also have the head. Inside the medicine cabinet, you'll find the first aid kit as well as toilet tissue. Over here is located the toilet. It has a valve for the hand pump, which when pushed up, you can pump the handle and water will come into your bowl. Go ahead and use the toilet and then continue to pump afterwards until all your waste is dispersed. Then press the handle down and pump it until the bowl becomes dry and then leave your handle in that position. Located underneath the sink are the water valves and head valves for the toilet and the sink. The Y valve has red tape on it where when it's turned to the red tape located on the hose then it is going directly overboard. You must open the large handle located on the through hole valve for it to flush directly overboard. In your sink, you have hot and cold water as well as a removable faucet that comes out to act as a shower as well. It has a curtain that you can close across the door to keep the water from going into your cabin. This is Katana's diesel engine. The things you should look for before departure is your belt tension, the fluids inside your heat exchanger, and the oil in your engine through the dipstick located here on the starboard side of your engine. Make sure that it is full and if necessary add some or tell one of our friendly staff. On the starboard side we have our stereo located on the bulkhead. In behind our cabinets we have our cooking gear and underneath the cabinets we have our plates, cups and saucers. Up underneath the white cutting board is the two burner stove. The switch for the propane is located on the electrical panel. We have dry storage behind the sink and a storage bin over here beneath the stereo. Coming out of the salon into the cockpit, our boat hook is located on the hand, handheld. Coming into the cockpit, we have several different items. 
we have winches on both sides as well as the line clutches on both sides. On the port side of the vessel, our line clutches and winches consist of a Genoa line, a spare halyard, and our furling outhaul for our mainsail, as well as the line for our traveler. The way the line clutches work is you open them up, push them all the way down to allow the line to move back and forth. To lock them in place, pull the handle all the way down until it comes to the stop. On the starboard side, we have our topping lift, our main halyard, and the furling line for our main sail. In the jam cleat, we have the line for our main sheet. On the port side, in the cockpit locker, we have spare oil, propane for the barbecue, life jackets, and our emergency tiller, as well as the pump for the dinghy. Just aft and above where the cockpit seat on the port side is the propane tank. Simply turn the valve on to give propane to your stove. On the port side aft seat, we have our stern anchor as well as the master breaker switch for our AC power. On the port side stern is located our AC power cord. It's very important that you turn off that switch at the dock box before unplugging it and removing it and leaving it on the dock or bringing it with you when you depart. Your steering console and binnacle, your ignition key is located on the starboard side with your kill switch being the T-handle above your pod. Fuel gauge, voltage gauge, and temperature gauges are located on the pod in the center. Your start button is the black button on the port side. Your tachometer is located right below it. Your engine throttle and shifter forward and reverse is on the port side. Your throttle is on the starboard. Your navigation equipment consists of your depth, your wind speed and direction, your boat speed, autopilot, and your GPS plotter. Located inside the boat, we have a small instruction manual for the vessel. Inside you'll find the certificate of documentation as well as brief descriptions of where everything is located and how they might work. If you have any questions about anything, refer to this manual for anything that you may need.